Lights. Camera. Action. All right, hang on, guys. We got a coffee cup in the background. Can we get somebody on that, please? And that light in the back, that's, that's off. Can we get somebody to adjust that? Thank you. All right, everybody back to one. Let's settle. And action. When you're watching a movie, the actors you see on screen are only a small part of the team that's working to produce the film. There are dozens, often hundreds of people who come together to make that movie happen. Today, we're giving you a behind the scenes look at six different movie positions and what they do. That's up next on Fact Bites. And hey, if you liked today's episode, make sure you give us a like and hit subscribe for more Fact Bites coming to a YouTube near you. So first up, assistant camera, commonly referred to as the AC. You may also hear this position referred to as focus puller. The AC has two main responsibilities, helping the camera operator set up and care for the camera and pulling focus during filming. Large film sets have a first AC, second AC, and so on. Cameras on a movie set can be complex setups with camera bodies, lenses, monitors, viewfinders, audio receivers, focus equipment, and other accessories. The AC is responsible for building out the camera depending on the needs of each shot. Movie crews frequently use prime lenses. These are lenses that have a set focal length, meaning they don't zoom in or out. That means that the cameras often need their lenses changed, and that's where the AC comes in. Cinema lenses also don't have autofocus. They're traditionally focused manually. Tools are generally attached to the camera that allow the AC to manage the focus. This can be done remotely with remote-controlled follow focus or manually by hand. If a subject moves from one part of the shot to another, the focus puller makes sure they stay in focus the entire time. The ACs work hard. They're typically on set before the director and director of photography and have the camera ready to go long before the first shot of the day. They're also on set after shooting wraps in order to clean and take apart the camera. The AC role is not for beginners and often takes years of practice to become proficient in pulling focus. Sticking with camera, another position you'll often find on a movie set is a grip or grips. Grips are responsible for building and maintaining all of the equipment that supports the cameras on set. So that includes tripods, dollies, jibs, cranes, gimbals, etc. If it supports the camera in any way, there's a grip there to make it happen. A grip works closely with the director of photography and camera operator to ensure the correct equipment is in place for each scene. A large set can include multiple grips working together. Grip equipment can be heavy, so it often takes several people to set up. If you see the position key grip in the credits, that's the person who's in charge of all the other grips on set. They can also be involved in location scouting during pre-production, and they work with the director and director of photography to determine which equipment will be needed for filming. It's a tough job, but grips are integral to making sure a set runs smoothly. Ever wonder what mob the gang boss is from? Don't worry, gang boss is just another term for construction foreman. Especially on big budget blockbusters, many sets need to be designed, built, and then usually torn down at the end of a film shoot. The gang boss works with the director and the art department during pre-production on designing all the sets in a script. Then, the gang boss oversees the construction crews that actually put those sets together. Some sets need to be moved during filming, other sets need to explode and then get put back together before the next take. Other sets need to be changed on the spot based on director or even actor decisions. The gang boss is responsible for any new construction or changes to construction needed during the filming process. They're important for building a world in the movie that feels real to audiences, but is also safe for cast and crew to move around in. Gang boss can also refer to the head of the transportation department. When a film shoots on location, the gang boss manages the transportation of both cast and crew, as well as gear and materials. They also handle the parking logistics for all production vehicles. This may sound like a small or boring job to have on a film crew, but these details are vitally important to ensuring that a production goes smoothly. When everything's working the way it should, that means production stays on time and more importantly, on budget. I mean, have you ever tried to find parking in LA? Impossible. 
Moving into the post-production world, have you ever wondered what a Foley artist does? Foley artists are a part of the audio editing team, and their main responsibility is sound effects. The footsteps in a hall, the shot of a gun, the low growl of a monster in the dark, or the rustle of a dress. Those are all the work of a Foley artist. When a film is complete, they record and mix the noises that will be used in the final film to simulate the sound effects. Sometimes this is recreating sounds that were not captured during filming, like footsteps. But sometimes this means designing how an effect or creature or prop will sound, like a laser blaster or the trill of an alien species. Sound effects place viewers directly into the scene, allowing them to forget that they're watching a movie and get lost in the story. Imagine what Star Wars would sound like without the iconic phew-wham-wham of the lightsabers. Oh man, I am not a Foley artist, guys. Foley artists are named after Jack Foley, a pioneer in the early days of film. He invented many of the techniques used to record sound effects, or Foley, and was one of the most prolific recorders of sound effects when films started to incorporate sound back in the late 20s and early 30s. And finally, if you follow the Oscars, you may have heard about sound editors and sound mixers. They're always trying to present one of those awards during the commercial break so they can cut down on the show's runtime. And you may be asking yourself, what's the big deal? Aren't they the same thing? They are definitely not. A sound editor is in charge of putting sound in the movie. Essentially, they're in charge of making the decisions on all the audio tracks that will be included in a film and lines them up inside each scene. The sound mixer then goes in and individually adjusts those tracks for the final audio mix. They're responsible for the volume of tracks, the equalizing of tracks, and the panning or spread of audio tracks. So what does that look like? Say you're watching an action film where a lot of fighting and explosions are going on. Can you still hear the dialogue from all the actors? Think a sound mixer. They make sure the dialogue is loud enough for the audience to hear. That could mean lowering the volume of a track entirely, or it could mean that they've lowered a specific frequency of a track. This is what's known as equalizing a mix. Equalizing is when you adjust audio frequencies so they don't interfere or cancel out the frequency of another track, like the actor's voice. So say that the hero in your action movie fires a gun at the bad guy. You hear the bullet whiz past as it goes across the screen, almost like it's actually in the room, moving from the left to the right. That's also from the audio mixer. They've panned the audio on the bullet sound effect, spreading the sound from one set of speakers to another to bring the action alive. Much like with sound effects, the sound mixer's job is to make the action in a film simulate real life so that audiences feel like they're actually in the movie. So next time you go see a movie, make sure you stick around through the credits even when there isn't a hidden scene at the end. There were a lot of people who worked really hard to make that movie come to life. Got any film positions we missed? Leave us a comment below and let us know what position you think deserves an Oscar. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Fact Bites coming soon.